All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you would, please put your working class hands together for your friend and mine. Now, it's not just news. It's news with Tim Riley. Max 910. Talk radio for guys. Well, as we speak, the county commissioners are having a public meeting. They're taking comments on the same-sex marriage issue. What, what possible comment could... I don't like that constitution. Here are the comments so far. Boldly courageous or bestiality and antichrist. <laughs> I've been watching it on public access. Bestiality. What's okay? People are donkeys yeah, or something? So, is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. Bestiality and anti... I kind of like that. I kind of like being in a city that promotes, you know, Portland, Oregon, the antichrist of cities. I mean, that kind of little flow to it. You know what I mean? Better than being called the city of goddamn roses again. I like the idea that we're the antichrist city. Everybody can eat it. You know, it, can I just tell you this? There is something to be said for, you know, for pioneer Northwest outlaw spirit. We yeah. can all speak together as, as adults. We know that this is true. Can we just call it like it is for a second? We're, well, you're from New England, but I mean, you've been you've been here for a while. Yes, uh, six uh, years. You know, Sarah's from well all over, but she's you know from the Northwest in a general sense. I'm certainly from the Northwest. Matt is from the Northern. Most of the people on the show uh, are either from the Northwest or have chosen to make the North. In other words, there's nobody who uh, on the show who's here against their will, like they came with a spouse or they you know whatever. Everybody, no. everybody who's on the show and everybody who lives in Northwest is here because they like it. Everybody who lives in the Northwest part of America is here because they like the Northwest. You I know acquire what? the spirit of the Northwest. You know this. You know, and the Northwest is weird. We can all admit that you've seen that bumper sticker that says keep portland weird well you know the northwest is filled with lunatics and i kind of like it that way it's not bland it's not boring it's not uninteresting it's not repressed it's not mellowed out it's not uh it's not pamplemesque it's not vanilla it's not mediocre it's not uh, uh uninteresting in any way the northwest is filled with nutcases lunatics crazies and wackos and i like it i like the fact uh, that we were the first state to legalize uh, snuffing yourself if you're an old person sick of living i like the fact that we're the first state to legalize hitting the bong if you're an old person tired of being in racked pain all the time. I like the fact you want to marry some guy named Steve or you want to go marry some butch chick named Kathy. You can do it. I like that about Portland, Oregon. I like the fact that there's all kinds of. Uh, I like it when you go into a you know when you go into a store to buy beer that you got to plan out an extra fifteen or twenty minutes of your trip to try to figure out what kind of beer you're going to get. I like the fact that it takes a scroll the size of the Book of Genesis to list all the beers they have at a store. I I like the fact that any time, day or night, you can buy pornography of the finest caliber and the highest quality in this city. I like the fact that no matter where you go, any time, morning, noon, darkness, blackness, night, you can get caffeine that is so intense that it's literally lethal to the touch. I like the fact that Portland does what it likes and tells the rest of the country to pound it. I like the fact that Oregon is different. I like the fact that Oregon is rebellious. I like the fact that Oregon doesn't do things the way the rest of the country wants us to do them. I like the fact that Oregon pays attention to the law and to the goddamn Constitution and to the Bill of Rights and tells everybody else that they can suck it if they don't like it. That's what I like about Oregon. I don't like the idea of an Oregon that bends over to the man and it uses the, you know, the, the nondescript and unthreatening allegory of states' rights, the euphemism of states' rights just to be another way to strip people of their essential liberties and make this place like another version of Utah but with bigger trees. That's not Portland, it's not Oregon, it's not the Northwest, and it sure as hell isn't the goddamn United States of America. So everybody who's opposed to this, you know what? You can either transport yourself back to 19 1950, you can go kick yourself out the sea on an ice floe because this is Portland, this is Oregon, it's the Northwest. It is what I what it is, and your conservative bony prune faced, sexless, joyless, puritanical, unthinking, narrow minded, close brained uh, ass can just uh, pound it if you don't like it. All right. What were we talking about?